What up, YouTube? We back, working on a little Sportsman 90, replacing the uh, starter. It's up in there. So I'm gonna pop off all these plastics real quick. Pop off this back bumper, or whatever you call it. Pop off this plastic, it should all come off as one. Probably have to unplug some stuff. But yeah, another day in the life. So we'll get to it. We'll be back when we got all this stuff popped off. You got some bolts down here, get some bolts here, more bolts down there. Got some 12 mils back here for this. Yeah, it's a cute little quad though, huh? Get a little zoom out shot. Look, cute little guy. Look at that thing. Tiny. Yeah, so peace. Be back soon. All right, boys. A little more work than I thought. I'm gonna have to cut these grips off just because the plastic doesn't split all the way down the middle like some of the other four wheelers do. I'm gonna have to take these bars off in order to get the plastics off. These grips are just absolutely glued on. So I tried spraying them off with the air gun, didn't wanna come. So I gotta cut these off, pull the cables off, throttle, pop the four bolts right here, pop these bars off. Then I should be able to take this plastic off I have to drop this front bumper down a little bit too, just to be able to get in here and pull this off. Drop these cables through if I go to the battery and the starter solenoid. So, a little more work, but it's gonna be a lot better when I get this stuff off to replace that starter. I'll definitely be thanking myself to go through a little more work now than to be fiddling in the round in there blind. You know what I mean? Replacing that starter. So. Catch you guys in a little bit when I get all this stuff off. Got it off. Uh, hindsight, definitely wouldn't have cut the grips off. Didn't need to. Just slid stuff off. Or I mean, I just disconnected all the cables and wires. Kind of a pain in the ass, but. Now we can get to that little guy down there. That's what we're replacing. So make sure to take off your fuel pack cock from the plastic, one Phillips, and then two Phillips once you get the, the handle off. So, yep, we're gonna pop the starter out. Looks like a two six mil Allens pop off some wires and uh should be good to go all right boys so the new starter came with wires attached and these go into a plug so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off a section here use this butt connector and connect it onto this red wire and then we'll just use that to put on the We'll just keep it on the new starter. So, yep, boys. A little bit of wiring, but no big deal. All right, boys. We uh, got the new starter in. Got the wire spliced in, all tight, all taped up, even with the uh, heat shrink butt connector on there. We just wanted to make sure it's all good to go. So, it's all tight and whatnot. Kind of made a mess here, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, we're just gonna throw it back together, kind of reverse of a uh, disassembly, you know what I mean? Nothing too special, a little time consuming, but at least we'll have the e-start now, so. All right, YouTube, uh, sorry I didn't get a little update video of the four wheeler and I was done of it running, but it runs absolutely perfect. Starter works really good. Um, it wasn't starting when I first got the starter in, so I was like, let's give it a shot at ether, and uh, that didn't seem to do the trick, so I popped that plug out, and of course that bad boy was fouled, so cleaned that bad girl up and uh, threw her back in, and she's just humming like a little kitten, so four-wheelers running good, starter's doing good, uh, guy got it back, he's happy customer, so can't complain, see you later.